So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a setup error log file when it's blank. For example, I run sysprep and I get an error message. So I open the setup error log file. I get this message and it shows up blank. So I'm going to show you how to fix this problem where you can see the error messages. So this is the sysprep file. I'm going to double click on the exe file. On the system cleanup action, I'm going to leave it as enter system out of box experience, select generalize, shutdown options, I'm going to select shutdown, click OK. So I get this sysprep error message. So now I have to look into the Panther folder and look up the error messages. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to open the Panther folder. So this is the setup error log file. I'm going to double click on it. So I get this message. It's a permission error message and I'll show you how to fix that. So on the setup error log file, you just want to right click that file, click properties, click security, click on advanced. So you want to select the permission tab, click continue. So under the permission entries here, just click on enable inheritance. Click apply, click yes, click OK. Click OK again. Now I'm going to open the setup error log file. And here you can see all the log entries shows where you can see all the error messages. So now it's not blank anymore. It shows all the error messages. So this is how you can show the error messages when you see a blank error log file. So I hope this video was helpful to you. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.